Heavenly Father, we want to thank you, Lord, for this place. I thank you, Father, that you have sent the wind from the north, the south, the east, and the west. And Father, let you know, Father, you receive the meditation and the worship of our hearts. We thank you, Father, for the people surrounding us. We thank you for the people.
atmosphere and everything, everything belongs to him. Amen. Everything. Amen. Your body is not your own. That's true. Your body, the way that you are, you're not your own. Amen. You belong to the Lord. Amen. Those who cry out unto Jesus. Amen. You cry out unto Jesus, and they have said, Not my way, but yours, God. And we yield to Him every single day. Amen. So, Father, I just thank you.
this night, Father. Did you? <laughs> Hallelujah. You send it? Oh, 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 oh. Thank you. I'm going to distract you.
Reject the light of the world. And it will give you the desire. Many believers use the Bible according to the view. Religion had taught us to use the word of God according to our needs. God's not a God who invests according to our needs. God is a God who supplies our needs. And God's great investment is in your purpose. My purpose, your purpose. When he get out of the needy mentality and get in to the purpose of your call. The devil works not for you to do his will. He works in you for you to do your will. By doing your will, you will not do the will of God. Take out. Take you out of your purpose of what God has called you. Don't let the enemy do you see. There are many living their lives. I don't know what you need is. But I really know what you want. Because the need is only a purpose. You have many living your life in needs, you're not entering into their purpose. If you are always in need, revise who are you walking with. Stop going around and around your purpose. God called Abraham to walk with him. And Abraham did so. All he needed was met in the call. The journey that he had, everything that he was put up in the call. When you are in the purpose of God, your work is met in the purpose. Abraham wanted a child. Abraham want was met in purpose. I don't know what you want, but this is what I know. You are to call to walk with God. If you're not walking with God and not be like you, otherwise, who are you walking with? If you are in an only sleep, it's because you have not entered into your purpose. You have not entered to the fulfillment of what you are called for. God is saying to you tonight, are you willing to walk with me? Are you willing to take this journey with me? Because everything you need, honey, it's in the call. And Stacy, and God will invest Don't be discouraged. Don't get distracted. It's okay to show your battle scars. That's what we lack nowadays. To show our scars. We don't have enough testimony for the next generation. And the essence of the gospel has lost the focus in the world. Just think about who are you serving. Look at in his hands. If you see a hole in his hand, or you see coins, 30 pieces of silver on his hand, revise who you're serving. Look at in his hands. Take that step. Be bold. Ask him to show his hands. If there's a hole, you're walking with the right place. But if there's coins, be careful. Thirty pieces of silver comes into this game. Be wise. Because all you need is not in the purpose.
I get one in? Because I can say, all you need is a method. God has a plan for you. God has a purpose for you. I can work with you. I know what you're saying. You guys don't even know it. I'll blow up the mind of other people. I'll blow up the mind of other people. I'll blow up the mind of other people. Some other life.
that not anyone perish. But there is these words that you cannot, and you can't take them out of the way. You cannot erase them from the canon. You cannot erase them from your mind. You cannot erase them from your heart. And he says, in this world, He says, and many will come to me, and many will call out and say, Lord, Lord, but I, and I'm not here, but I, I did all of your ways, I did all of the rule, I did all of the law, I did everything, I even laid hands on people and they recovered, I even casted out devils in your name, I even, I, I never missed a Sunday. I never missed a Wednesday. I never missed. I got up on noonday. I prayed. I prayed. I prayed hours and hours a day. I prayed. But the Lord says, Depart from me, for I never knew you, worker of iniquity. And I think now, in these days and these hours that we have, there are a lot of workers of iniquity. And in those workers of iniquity, Lord, Father, and, and I even have to confess, at one point in time in my life, I was a worker of iniquity. But I had to confess it, and I had to repent, and I had to immediately go before the Lord on those things. And I just, I challenge you people to yield your heart. I challenge you to ask the Lord to look deeper, to ask the Lord to look in you and see if there be any roots of things, any evil ways, and remove it. Allow him to prune you. Allow, allow him to, to take those roots and wash them with the water of the Holy Spirit so that thing can be taken out. And then purify and pack down with the weight of the glory of the heaviness of heaven and purify your heart. So Father, Lord, I just thank you. And like as David said, search me, O Lord. You know my ways, you know my heart. Search me, O God. Remove what you want. Destroy what you would like. Purify my heart. And Lord, cleanse us, clean me, purify me, so that I may be a vessel worthy to hold forth and show your glory in Jesus. I just want to say a shout out to everyone that came on Facebook. We'll be over at the ministry tomorrow for the gathering. And um, we'll be meeting people through there. We open up at about 7.30 on stage from 7 o'clock to come in and get a big seat. And we'll see you tomorrow. If there's any prayer requests, please put them on there. I know some of the, uh, I know Deborah will be checking on those for the Facebook. And Stacy checks up on Facebook as well. So these are all of our social medias. Stacy Wojo, she's, she's awesome on that. <laughs> <laughs> and Deborah, she's awesome. Um, and I just, I just want to say thank you for coming out and having the time and worshiping the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. I love worshiping Jesus and I love worshiping the Spirit and truth. So God bless you all. And have a beautiful day.